Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome to a FIFA 22 trading from scratch video. Today, we have got episode 3 in this series. So of course, lads, FIFA 22 is finally here. And if you're looking to get yourself some coins to get ahead of the curve on Ultimate Team, make sure to check out my sponsor, igvault.com. There will be a link in the description down below and using the code PENGUIN will give you a discount. So of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button, let's see if kind of 500 ratings, and do subscribe if you are new. Additionally as well, if there's any sniping filters you guys want me to explore in future videos, let me know about that in the comment section down below. As you can see, we're going to be starting this episode about 75,000 coins. So to be fair, that's actually a pretty good start. Um, so far on trading from scratch. Hopefully by the end of this, this video, at least over 100k. I think I'm going to kick things off though, guys, exploring uh, maybe some special card sniping filters. So there's going to be a wide array of cards that we can see. Hopefully we'll get some decent trades and let's jump straight into it. That's definitely going to be a trade right there, guys. Wendell at 10, 250 with a Shadow Chem style on him. Not bad, not bad, we'll take that. So what I'm doing here as a filter is to compare price method with inform items that I've got a shadow chem style on them. So now even though Wendell is not going to be a super expensive card, with the shadow chem style he's actually going to be worth a little bit more. And sniping this at basically min price, which was 10 to 50, we're definitely going to make good profit from this card. So if we set up the quality tab here for Wendell, which has got the chemistry style of shadow, as you can see there's none available at 12.5k. If we go um, just to any chem style, you can see he's super cheap. But because we just got him with the shadow one, we'll probably be able to get like 13.5k, which after tax, probably around like 3,000 coins to be fair. So, turn out to be a decent trade. There's quite a few at 13.5k. I might just list mine up at 13,000. And there's like 2.5k on there. But there's definitely going to be a wide variety of cards that you can see on this filter. You've just got to pick and choose as to which ones you think is going to be a good trade. That's a good one, you know. Tenali, 10,500 10, with a Shadow Chemistry style, we'll take that. He's actually like one of the more common cards you're going to see on this field, to be fair. But um, of course, with him having, like, because he's got the Shadow Chem style, he's going to be worth at least 13k. So good trade, we'll take it, boys. Nothing insane. I mean, the Dumfries that we missed out on would have been a very nice trade, don't get me wrong. And to be fair, boys, these are probably going to take a little while to sell when you get them at 10 to 50. It's basically min price in form sniping for items that have got a shadow chem style on. So it is guaranteed profit, literally zero risk, uh, even though it might take a little while for these cards to sell. But we're not in a rush. We want to take full advantage and maximize the amount of profit that we can make on these cards. So I don't mind how long it takes to sell. I'd rather have the extra coins. That's got to be a trade, right, boys? It has to be. Surely. This is the benefit of having the sniping field set up at 12,500. Because you will actually see some, like, significant undercuts. I don't know what Sabitza is going to be. What Sabitza just base value going to be? Surely he's, like, close to 20k, right, boys? I don't know. The price of these cards is... Yeah, he's 20,000 coins just in general. And this one has got a Shadow Chem style. He could even be worth a lot more than that. Let's go. Very good trade. Lads, that's a fantastic one. Like, genuinely is. One of our other snipes has already sold as well, so that's good to see. I do want to check Sabitza. Um, so this is going to take me a little second to get this set up. But if we just see his base value, 19.5k, one on the market. Of course, ours has got, like, the most desirable chem style, which is worth, like, 4,000 coins, so... Hopefully going to be able to get like maybe 23k for him. I don't know. Probably a bit ambitious to be fair. 23. 21,500 looks like the price. Solid though guys. Very nice trade. Only three of them at this parameter. We'll make some really good coins from that snipe. That's why this doing the compare price method is effective. If I had it set up just to see like cheap cards come onto the market. We wouldn't have been able to get that Marcel Sabitzer. I think the, the main thing with this filter is, boys, right, you're going to see cards that are... You're going to see a lot of opportunities that are, like, 2.5k profit per card. That definitely would have been more than that. Oh, my God! What have I just missed, mate? 86 rated Thiago Silva, Shadow Chem style. 
dub. Well, I mean, it's a dub for ever sniped it. It's an L for us. We have to hold it with pride. On camera. Gonna go into a video. Missing out on opportunities like this, they always hurt. He's a lot cheaper than I expected, to be fair. But 55 pace, he's not really usable, is he? And I guess there's no... There's no SBCs at the moment where you're really going to need a high rate in form. That's disappointing though, lads. That would have been a nice trade. It would have been um, definitely our best in form snipe. But probably not the best one on the filter, considering we did um, get the ones to watch card earlier on. It's good though, guys. It's very active. It's, it's exciting as well, and it's just fun to do. And it's always nice to make coins on top of that as well. Better than my packs, mate. Better than my packs. Oh my god, what's happened? Guys, what has actually just happened, bro? Legit. He's only like 25k still. Do you realise how I would have been able to clickbait this video? With a hero snipe? He's 36,000. I know exactly what's happened there, though, by the way. Because I previously tried to um, get another card on this filter. It was already... It was already on the buy now option. So I accidentally um, clicked down to do the mechanics and then end up putting them on the transfer targets. Alright, can we even get him on the market then for 35,000 coins? 36.5? We actually did miss out on a good opportunity there, I'm not going to lie. That would have been a fantastic trade. Genuinely one that I was just never expecting to see. It doesn't really make sense, does it, if this card to have a, a Shadow Chem style on him? But then again, it, it also doesn't make sense to see a hero for min price, so... It's unfortunately an opportunity that we've wasted, I guess, but... It is what it is. Maybe next time we'll be a little bit more lucky. There we go, guys. We do get ourselves another Vidal trade. This has actually turned out to be some pretty decent profit right now. Um, the previous one basically insta sold for 82,500. So, really nice uh, coins after tax. Worked it out, it's about 3,500. I'll show you guys now. At 80k, he is extinct. That would have been 5,000 coins under. 82,500. This is actually the price I listed mine up for. There is only one on the market right now. I think the one we just sniped was fresh. It had a basic chem style. So, sometimes they are a little bit more desirable. And at 83,000. Just less than a page. Again, I'm going to undercut at 82.5k just to get the instant profit as, unfortunately, I don't have too many coins available. This is the one that we previously sold as well as all of the special cards that we are trading with yesterday. Each of them um, did have a Shadow Chem style. So that's why I was able to get some really nice profits on those snipes. So Bitset being the main one. And today, doing these UCL items, off to a good start already. Oh, and as well, guys, just a quick shout out um, with the sale of our second snipe today. We do have over 100,000 coins. So if that doesn't deserve a like on this video, I don't know what does. I actually can't believe we've seen it, boys, directly on the one hour mark as well. Now, that would have been a fantastic way. I mean, literally, I just done a segment saying that we're above 100k. From that one trade alone, we would have been above 150,000. That would have been absolutely massive for us. I'm genuinely gutted that I've missed out on this opportunity here, fellas. 16,250 on a Vidal, that is a min list. That would have been massive. It would have been absolutely huge. Gutted, absolutely gutted. Snipes like that are what can really elevate this series to like the next level, you know. We essentially would have made... So we've, we've took three episodes to get to 100k. And then in the space of one trade, we could have got half of what it's taken us three episodes to, to gain. That's disappointing that we've missed out on the opportunity, but you could say potentially botted considering it was min price. Maybe I'll do UCL marquee matchups on the other accounts. Oh, do you know what, boys? That's actually good. 73k, nice trade. I mean, not going to compare to the previous one, is it? But still, fellas, I'm happy. 73,000 coins, again, for a Vidal that's coming straight out of packs. A fresh item. 10k under, essentially. Um, obviously, decent amount of tax, considering uh, we're going to be selling the card on for 82,500. But really nice. Good sniping filter. Unfortunately, we haven't seen a Tonali yet. 
but I can't really complain about how efficient this has been, considering um, this is technically the third successful snipe we've had on Vidal, and we've missed out a couple as well, one of them being a min list. Anyway though guys, as you can see, all of our cards have sold that we've traded with in this episode of Trading From Scratch. We're now up to 105,000 coins, so do you know what, again, another pretty decent episode. It's nice to finally hit like our first major milestone. And um, all the filters that I've done in this video have certainly been effective and I would recommend them to you guys to try and exploit and make yourself some good coins. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button, do subscribe as well if you want to. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want me to snipe in future episodes. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully I will see you next time.